it must be every boy's and some girl's dream to be a racing driver. But for the majority of us, these dreams are out of reach. But if you do want to get on a track, the best and most affordable way is to join a club, bring your own performance car along and go for it. Right, I've just spotted somebody I know extremely well. He's an old family friend. He's known my dad for like years and years and years and he also does my teeth. So come on, let's go and have a look. Hi, Nigel. Yes. <laughs> nice to see you. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> yes, very well. Yeah. Nigel, I have known you since I was a little girl. About mm -hmm. that really? big. And How big was I? Because <laughs> I'm a bit smaller. Yeah, it's not the fact that I'm short, it's just that Nigel's extremely tall, aren't you? Is that better? That's better. Yeah. Would you say that you're still a little boy at heart? Very much so, yeah. Yeah. So you... Absolutely, aren't we all? <laughs> For goodness sake, aren't we all? So, so if, if you don't want to be a footballer, you want to be a racing driver? I want to be a very good dentist, actually, but I'm working on that one. So uh, would, you, would you say you're as um, good at spinning round the track as you are at doing my teeth? No. no I'm better <laughs> at doing that. This is just a bit of fun, really. We're out here today. It's a track day. Uh, there's a lot of guys out here just come out to have a play. Right. Um, that's what they're all interested in. Tell me about this car here. How long have you had this for? Well, we've had this car about a year now, um, and my good friend Terry has been rebuilding the whole thing. He's built the engine, put everything together. And You're going to have to have a word with Terry, though. I've seen a few scratches on this car. Is this well, you? No, no. Is it? What, what's this all about? It's just parking it at the supermarket, so it's all to do with uh, <laughs> women drivers at Sainsbury's, I'm afraid. What do you mean, <laughs> women drivers? Less well, of anyway. that, less of that. Um, so, no, <laughs> this is basically, we put it together about over the last year. It's a 1970s Chevron B16, and they used to race this kind of car at Le Mans, that sort of thing. So you'd say it's very quick? It's quick. We've put a slightly different engine in the car, slightly more reliable. It's a two litre Vauxhall engine, 24 valve, 16 valve, sorry. Right. Um, it delivers about 240 brake horsepower, and it will do probably about 140, 150 down the straight. So it's, right. it's quick. What have you pushed it to the limit? What would you well, say? If we pushed it to the limit, you're probably talking about what 120 round here. Right. Because the circuit today is the short circuit, so you haven't really got a long stretch to to open its, uh, you know, <laughs> give it a little bit of room. Right. Really. So how much would this? You don't have to tell me, but I love it when you do. <laughs> <laughs> How much would this set me back, Nigel? How much would a car like that yeah. set me back? I haven't got a clue. A lot of a lot of money. A lot of pennies. I think you're doing. Uh, you, you must be doing a roaring trade with this teeth business. <laughs> Depends who's listening. <laughs> um, no, it's, it, yeah, we're doing all right, but it's a hobby. This is my what? 18th 911 now. 18th 911. I'm sorry, I'm not coming to you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, I bought my first one off your dad. Yeah, that's right. Back yeah. in 19... Ooh, was it 28? I don't know. <laughs> About 1980s. And, uh, Any complaints there? Because if you have, tell my father now. Yeah, well, actually the... <laughs> was uh, it cheap? It wasn't very cheap, no, but it I didn't lose dad. money on it. <laughs> um, so I've had 18 of these. They're fantastic. 18? 18, yeah. 18 Porsches! I married yeah. the wrong man. I really well, did. <laughs> So would before. you describe this as your ultimate car, or yes. have you got another one? This is the ultimate. Right. If I was to change this now, I would leave the Porsche mark and yeah. go for the 355 Ferrari. Yeah. That would be the next one. Yeah. Um, so. Why is it that all car fanatics always want a Ferrari? Uh, I don't know. Motorheads, it's just like that. It? It's the ultimate. It is the ultimate. It it's Enzo. It's like God, isn't it, for the motor <laughs> racing world? It's, 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 it's the ultimate pose. It's the Honda Super Blackbird. It is the second fastest road bike. It'll do about 190 miles an hour. Right. The 0 to 60 acceleration is, is this, awesome. Is this quicker than a, a Ducati? My brother's just bought a Ducati. It's about the same. About the Top same. Top speed. It's, what do you it's, think, it's Richard? Quicker. Top speed is slightly quicker, but yeah. acceleration-wise, yeah. the Ducati's got it. Um, it's expensive business, though, that, isn't it, racing? I believe so. Yeah. I believe so. It's vulgar to talk about money. I've twisted Nigel's arm and he's let me drive his car, so I'm going to show him how to drive. I won't crash, I swear. <laughs> oh, don't go anywhere. I see you've had a little bump there. Just a little bump, yeah. Are you going to have a chat to me and tell me what... Here, here's a yeah, shoulder, love. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, show me what... What have you done? I was just coming around that last corner. I'd, I'd been overtaken, taking another lad who pulled over and had my foot down. I realised I was coming in a bit too quickly, so I hit the brakes. 
realised I wasn't going to make it. I took my foot off the brake so I had been lock up. Just got round and the wheels just gave out. Skidded off onto the grass. Held it on the grass. I was coming off the grass onto the road. As soon as it hit the road, the back end just spun out and I thought, there's nothing I can do here. I'm straight in the uh, Amco. So, did, did your bottle go? No, no, I didn't. Uh, oh, you're so brave, aren't you? <laughs> How much is this going to cost you? I've got my track day insurance, so it's not too bad. I've got to pay a grand excess, but... And what, what about having it fixed? Is, are you going to do it? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it in, get it fixed. Where are Shall you getting all your money? I want to know, where are all these men getting their money from today? I mean, it's quite uh, an expensive business, isn't it? This. Uh... It is when you do this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is this the first time you've had a bump? It is, yeah. Is it? Yeah, a bangles man, no thing. I was just going to say, you've just ruined a fantastic track record, haven't you? Never had an accident in the car yet. How long have you had the car for? Just uh, eight months, this one. Oh, no. Yeah. It's, uh... So it just proves something, oh. doesn't it, then? Men aren't really always the best drivers, are they? Didn't see any women out there, like. Hey, listen, give me the <laughs> keys, love. I'll show you how it's done. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> a track day can turn out to be quite expensive, especially if you do what the last guy did. But if you join a club and bring your own car, you'll probably pay around £100 for a few sessions. Not too bad, really. Hi, lads, what are you doing? Just having a quick look. Why have we got the time? When you, when you mean a quick look, then you're not like coming down into to um, you know support anyone. No, 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 no. Well, he's travelled all the way up from Aberystwyth to Wales, and I live down in Shropshire, so we met up and come up and have a. So would you say you're car crazy? Yeah, we're pretty much, pretty much car crazy. Yeah. You want to be another Ni Nigel Manson, then, do you? All right, Colin McRae be better. Oh right, okay. <laughs> Who do I like? Schumacher? No, no, we don't like Schumacher. Damon Hill. Damon Hill, that's better. That's a proper man, isn't proper it? British yeah. Driver, proper British yeah. driver. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's quite fit. Are you fit? Fit? No, I'm not Yeah, you've really. got to be fit, though, to be no. a racing driver. Play that football, that's about it. Oh, another. You see, you've got to be a racing driver or a football. You always want glamorous jobs, you men, <laughs> no, don't you? No. Not like me. I just want to be a TV presenter. Right, anyway, see you later. <laughs> okay. If you fancy a day out at the racetrack and you haven't got the money and you haven't got the car, then this could be the next best thing. Oh my God! <laughs> Here we go! Simulation, but I'm definitely a girl who likes the real thing. Look at the weather. I'm absolutely gutted. I was all hyped up this morning. I was ready to go for a race on that racetrack. But unfortunately, the way things are going, it's not going to happen. Hello there. Hi there. What have we got here? Yeah. Try to choose my pictures. And oh, I don't know you're which such two. a poser, right? Let's have a look. Show, show us what, which ones. The baby 106. Right, baby 106. Yeah. Nice car. <laughs> Go on, show us the other one. What can you make mine oh, of one? It's either that one or that one. I don't know which um, one. Which one looks faster? Do you know what? They both look <laughs> the same to me. They probably uh, are. That one. That one. No, do. Thank you very much. Did, did, did you have a good day today? Loved it. Yeah. Wet weather, bit of a problem, but everything else was a great laugh. But it, it, it's a bit tougher, isn't it? Do you think it's probably a good thing sometimes if it rains because you get more practice in? Uh, probably not, no. Uh, it's better in the dry, you can understand things a lot more. In the wet, you're just terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go all shy on me. Uh, Look, no. you're not even looking at me, you over there. Smile. Oh, the two things all right, you yeah. see, cars are more important than girls. Typical, isn't it? 
here and I found John Stevens. And John Stevens is a professional motor racing coach and motorcycle racing coach. Is that right, John? Just about, yeah, yeah, that's right. Right, John. And a little bird told me that you've actually taught Formula One drivers. Yes, yeah, sort of, well, I've coached them in, in their career, you know? Hey, we did find a good little one today, didn't we? You must be pretty hot then behind the wheel yourself. Oh, I wouldn't say that. But um, yeah, I'm all right in a car. You You're know. being modest. Yeah, well, well, yeah, yeah. It's um, OK, I'm quick enough if I'm out with a Grand Prix driver and we're looking at coaching and that. I can, he can't say to me, oh, it's all right at your speed, but at mine it wouldn't work. So for the moment, I can still drive quick enough. Yeah. Right. And, and, and this is Chris Graham here. And Chris, are you a pupil of John's today? That's right, yeah. I've come here to take some advice from John. He's um, a client. Client, um, to, to get some tuition on the, the driving styles. Right, and what have you learnt today in conditions like this? Um, even in conditions like today, you can still learn a lot uh, in terms of the technique, in terms of where you place the car on the road, uh, where you, how you turn in, um, how you use the steering wheel, and how you use the throttle to actually help turn the car into the corner. Right, do you find it more exciting when it's wet weather? Um, I wouldn't say it's more exciting, there's, there's more chance of throwing it off the track. Oh, that's what we like, don't we, viewers? <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? John, what tips would you give for any sort of wannabe um, Nigel Mansells? Well, you've got to learn... The first thing you've got to learn is that when you're driving a race car, you've got to focus your mind on doing what's right for the car, not what's easiest for yourself. Right. And a lot of drivers talk about driving style. And because there's no real coaching, in-depth coaching in motor racing, because it's a high-risk sport, they quite understandably uh, tend to do what they find easy and leave out what they find difficult and call it my special style, you see. But when you're driving a racing car, it's a scientific object bound by scientific laws. And there's only one set of actions in any given situation that you can carry out to allow that car to operate 100% right. And any variation, it's got to give you a variation in the result. Right. Can you believe it? I just lined myself up a nice little motor to razz around the track on when I had to go and get some glamour shots done. It's a hard life, but somebody's got to do it. I've had an absolutely fantastic day down here today. We've all had such a good laugh. And some of the boys are still out on that track playing with the toys. But as for me, I've seen a few tasty motors and I'm hoping one of them is going to give me a lift home. See ya.